Double Agent, The Art of Deception in Espionage The term, double agent, evokes images of intrigue, deception, and high-stakes intelligence warfare. Throughout history, double agents have played pivotal roles in shaping the outcomes of wars, dismantling empires, and influencing global politics. In the shadowy world of espionage, they occupy a unique position, betraying the trust of one side while secretly working for another. This video explores the intricacies of being a double agent, the psychology behind their decisions, and the impact they've had on history. What is a double agent? A double agent is an individual who pretends to work for one organization or government but secretly works for a rival, often feeding disinformation or collecting intelligence. They are not merely spies, they are spies playing a more dangerous game, pretending loyalty to one while serving another. Double agents are often tasked with missions by both sides, but their true allegiance lies in the careful balancing act of maintaining trust with both parties while advancing the interests of one. The Psychology Behind a Double Agent The life of a double agent is fraught with mental tension and constant danger. The duality of their existence forces them to adopt a chameleon-like persona, blending seamlessly into both sides. Their motives are often complex and varied, ranging from financial gain, ideological alignment, or blackmail, to personal vengeance. Psychologically, many double agents experience high levels of paranoia, knowing that one wrong move can lead to exposure and death. Maintaining their cover requires a combination of confidence, intelligence, and often sociopathic tendencies. They must skillfully manipulate the perceptions of those around them, frequently lying and compartmentalizing their lives to an extreme degree. Famous Double Agents in History Several double agents have left an indelible mark on history, changing the course of events through their espionage. 1. Eddie Chapman, World War II, also known as, Agent Zigzag, Chapman was a British criminal who became a double agent during World War II. Initially recruited by the Germans, he quickly switched sides and became one of the British intelligence's most valuable assets, feeding the Nazis false information about military operations and allowing the Allies to succeed in key missions. 2. Kim Philby, Cold War, one of the most infamous double agents of the Cold War era, Philby was a high-ranking member of British intelligence who was secretly working for the Soviet Union. His betrayal of Western intelligence agencies led to the deaths of numerous agents and prolonged the ideological conflict between East and West. 3. Aldrich Ames, CIA. Ames, a former CIA officer, was a double agent for the Soviet Union during the late 1980s and early 1990s. His activities were devastating to U.S. intelligence, leading to the compromise of dozens of CIA operations and the execution of several American assets in Russia. The Recruitment of Double Agents Recruiting double agents is one of the most sensitive and delicate tasks in espionage. Intelligence agencies carefully assess potential targets for susceptibility to manipulation, often exploiting personal weaknesses such as greed, fear, or ideological dissatisfaction. Once recruited, double agents are subjected to rigorous training, focusing on disinformation techniques, coded communication, and psychological endurance. In many cases, an agent doesn't initially plan to become a double agent. They are coerced through a combination of blackmail, threats, and promises of wealth or safety. Ideological double agents, however, are driven by a firm belief in the cause they are betraying their country for, making them far more dangerous and difficult to detect. How to spot a double agent? Double agents are notoriously difficult to identify. Intelligence agencies use several methods to unmask them, including, behavioral changes, signs of stress, inconsistencies in communication, or sudden lifestyle changes can be indicators of dual allegiances. Cross-checking information. Intelligence agencies often plant false information to see if it leaks to the other side, revealing the presence of a double agent. Surveillance and vetting. Constant surveillance of suspected agents, along with extensive background checks, can help uncover unusual behavior or hidden allegiances. However, highly skilled double agents are often able to maintain their cover for years, even decades, before being exposed, if ever. The Impact of Double Agents on History 
The role of double agents in history is vast, often shifting the balance of power during critical moments. During World War II, for example, the use of double agents was instrumental in the success of the Allies' D-Day invasion. The British ran a network of double agents, known as the Double Cross System, who fed the Germans false information about the invasion's timing and location, contributing significantly to the surprise of the attack. In the Cold War, double agents on both sides perpetuated the conflict by sowing mistrust and complicating peace negotiations. The betrayals of agents like Kim Philby and Aldrich Ames led to prolonged tensions, escalated arms races, and numerous covert operations that shaped the world for decades. In the digital age, the nature of espionage has evolved, with cyber warfare and digital surveillance playing an increasing role. However, human intelligence, human, remains as critical as ever. Double agents continue to operate, although they now navigate an environment where technology aids in both their deception and their exposure. The recruitment and detection of double agents have become more sophisticated, with the use of data analytics, surveillance algorithms, and psychological profiling. Yet, the essence of espionage remains the same, the battle for trust and information in a world of secrets. The risks and rewards of being a double agent. While some double agents gain immense financial rewards or personal satisfaction from their betrayals, the risks are monumental. Once exposed, the fate of a double agent is often bleak, execution, imprisonment, or life on the run. Even successful agents live in constant fear of discovery, knowing that their actions have irrevocably placed them on the wrong side of the law and loyalty. For intelligence agencies, the reward of cultivating a double agent can be enormous. The information they provide can shape national security strategies, prevent attacks, or, in wartime, turn the tide of battle. Double agents live at the crossroads of trust and betrayal, loyalty and deception. Their impact on world events, both past and present, underscores the complexities of espionage. For every successful mission they complete, there are countless lives affected by their duplicity. As long as nations seek to outmaneuver one another, the world of double agents will continue to thrive in the shadows, shaping the outcomes of unseen wars. If you found value in this video please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to support this channel. Please share across social media platforms to reach a wider audience. Other Famous Double Agents in History 1. Matahari, World War I, one of the most iconic and controversial figures in espionage history. Matahari was a Dutch exotic dancer who was accused of being a double agent during World War I. While initially working for the French, she was suspected of passing intelligence to the Germans. Her true impact remains debated, but she was ultimately executed by the French in 1917 for espionage. 2. Oleg Gordievsky, Cold War, a senior KGB officer, Gordievsky was a British double agent who provided invaluable intelligence during the Cold War. Working for MI6, he played a crucial role in diffusing Cold War tensions by informing the West about Soviet intentions, and he was instrumental in alerting Western powers to Soviet fears of a nuclear first strike by NATO. 3. Dusko Popov, World War II, a Serbian double agent who worked for both the Germans and the British, Popov is said to have inspired the creation of the James Bond character. Under the code name, Tricycle, Popov fed misinformation to the Nazis while passing critical intelligence to British authorities, contributing to key Allied victories. 4. Juan Pujol Garcia, World War II, known by the code name, Garbo, Garcia was one of the most successful double agents in history. He tricked the Nazis into believing he was a German spy while working for British intelligence. Garcia played a crucial role in deceiving the Germans about the location of the D-Day invasion, convincing them that the main attack would take place at Pas de Calais rather than Normandy. The Ethical Implications of Recruiting Double Agents Recruiting and using double agents presents a complex web of ethical dilemmas, primarily because it involves exploiting deception, betrayal, and the manipulation of human lives for national interests. Some of the key ethical concerns include 1. Betrayal and trust. Double agents are, by definition, betraying one side. 
They exploit the trust placed in them, often leading to disastrous consequences for those who believe in their loyalty. The moral implications of encouraging betrayal raise questions about how much deception is justifiable in protecting national security. 2. Human rights violations. In some cases, individuals are coerced into becoming double agents under the threat of imprisonment, harm to loved ones, or financial ruin. The use of blackmail or psychological pressure to manipulate someone into betraying their country or organization crosses ethical lines, raising concerns about human dignity and freedom of choice. 3. Endangerment of innocent lives. Double agents are often at the center of intelligence operations that can result in the loss of lives, especially when military or political secrets are involved. The morality of using individuals to advance intelligence goals, knowing that it could cost lives, challenges the notion of ethical warfare. 4. Loyalty versus national security. Governments must balance the ethics of loyalty to the nation with respect for individual autonomy. In the espionage world, the ends often justify the means, but this philosophy can lead to a culture where ethics are sidelined for political or military gain. 5. Psychological toll. Double agents often suffer intense psychological stress, having to live dual lives under the constant fear of exposure. This mental toll raises ethical concerns about the long-term psychological consequences on individuals recruited into these dangerous roles. How the British Double Cross System Contributed to the Success of the D-Day Invasion The British Double Cross System, also known as the XX System, was one of the most successful counter-espionage operations in history, playing a pivotal role in ensuring the success of the D-Day invasion on June 6, 1944. This system involved the use of double agents to deceive the German military by feeding them carefully crafted disinformation. Here's how the double cross system contributed to D-Day. 1. Misinformation about the invasion location. The double cross agents were tasked with convincing the Germans that the Allied invasion would take place at Pas de Calais, the narrowest point between Britain and France, rather than Normandy. The agents worked tirelessly to reinforce the idea that Normandy was a diversionary target, feeding the Nazis a steady stream of false reports, which led the Germans to divert critical resources away from Normandy. 2. Timing of the invasion. The deception was not limited to the location, the double-cross system also provided disinformation about the timing of the invasion. The Germans were led to believe that the actual invasion would happen later than it did, further delaying their response when the landings began at Normandy. 3. Use of false army groups. As part of the larger Operation Fortitude, the British created an entire fictitious army group under General Patton, using fake tanks, inflatable aircraft, and radio traffic to simulate preparations for an invasion at Pas de Calais. The double-cross agents fed intelligence to the Germans about this non-existent army, reinforcing the deception and causing the Nazis to misallocate their forces. 4. Delaying German reinforcements. Even after the D-Day invasion began, many German commanders, believing the false intelligence fed by the double-cross agents, hesitated to commit their forces fully, fearing that the Normandy invasion was just a diversion. This hesitation allowed the Allies to secure the beaches and establish a foothold in France before the Germans could launch a coordinated counterattack. 5. Cementing trust. The agents in the double-cross system had spent years building up their credibility with the Germans by providing small but seemingly accurate pieces of intelligence. By the time of D-Day, the Germans were fully convinced of their loyalty, making the disinformation about the invasion far more effective. In summary, the double-cross system played an essential role in ensuring the success of D-Day by misleading the Germans about the location, timing, and scale of the invasion. Without this critical intelligence deception, the Allies might have faced a much stronger and better prepared German defense at Normandy, which could have drastically altered the outcome of World War II. If you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to our channel for more self-improvement videos. Comment below to tell us how useful you found this video. Remember to share on various social media platforms to reach a wider audience. Click the notification bell to get notified anytime we post a new video. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.